go. Oh, hey, boys and girls. Mr. Will, say hey to the boys and girls. We're trying to beat this new level in the game Power Up so that Mr. Will can get unstuck from the video game. This level is called Land of Rain, which, I gotta be honest, wouldn't it be cool to be trapped in, like, your favorite video game? Especially if you were good like me. Let's see. Ooh. Yikes. I think I just died. Oh. Did you hear that noise? Was that in the video game or was that for real? Oh no. This isn't good. Looks like the storm knocked out the power. Um, now Mr. Rule is really stuck in there. All alone, in the dark. He's probably really scared. It's fine. It's fine. At least, I'm not alone. I have you guys, right? It's really pouring down rain out there. It's becoming like the land of the rain. Wait, am I stuck in the video game too? Oh, phew. Good to see you again, Mr. Will. Even if it's still in the video game. I'm glad I'm not stuck in the video game, but if I was, I'd want to be stuck in it with Prophet Elijah. He's going to help us learn this week's bottom line. Do you guys remember last week's bottom line? It says it right here. Say it with me. Pray boldly. Yes. When I read about Elijah in the Old Testament, especially the book in 1 Kings, he sounds like an epic video game character that comes with all the power-ups. He called down fire from heaven. He had his own butlers. Well, they were like bird butlers, but still butlers that brought him his food every morning and night. Plus, he was a mega athlete. I'm talking like running 17 miles, outrunning horses and chariots. He got to speak God's word and tell people Jesus was coming to save them. Elijah was kind of like a celebrity. James talks about him in his book years later. James 5, 16 through 17 says, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Elijah was a human just as we are. And yet, when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky went down, rain, and the earth began to yield its crops. Did you guys catch that? Elijah is a human just like us. He's not some superhero. Sure, Elijah did a lot of cool things to show God's power, but there's only one thing we should remember about him above all else. Can you guess what it is? Lean in close. Closer. Mr. Will, lean in. Closer, closer, close. Oh, too close, Mr. Will. Boys and girls, what we can learn from Elijah is this. Pray persistently. Say that with me. Pray persistently. That means a lot, a lot, a lot. Over and over, again and again. When we pray persistently, we are showing God we love to talk to Him. Think about it. Do you talk to your best friend once a year or as much as possible? As much as possible, right? That's why you guys are best friends. If you were trapped in a dark storm, you wouldn't want to be alone, would you? You'd want your best friend to talk to you. Elijah knew that God could hear him anytime, anywhere. God is that big of a best friend. And because of God's love for us, we have Jesus to talk to anytime, anywhere. Jesus is the power-up version of your bestie. So you can and totally should talk to him persistently. That's our bottom line. Pray persistently. Think you can say it five times fast? Ready, set, pray persistently, pray persistently, pray persistently, pray persistently, pray persistently. Whew, that was hard. Okay, uh, let's try to beat this level. Looks like it's raining pretty hard there. Maybe next week? Sorry, Mr. Will. 